What's up, everybody? Welcome back to part three of my uh, un Annex unboxing. This is Indigon Demon, and today we are going over the America the Beautiful Double Die Obverse coins I sent in, and the American Women's Quarter series uh, DDRs that I sent in. So, um, in episode one, we did the uh, Kennedy half dollar uh, FS101 DDOs, and the uh, two silver quarters with minor varieties. Um, in episode two, we did the America the Beautiful series quarters with double die reverses. Apologies for my dog. He's a little excited this morning. And in today's episode, we are going to do, like I said, the DDOs for the America the Beautiful and the AWQ series. So um, that's enough rambling. Let me go ahead and grab the coins. I'll show you the coins and then show you the variety under the microscope. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the first coin is going to be this 2018 Pictured Rocks out of Philadelphia. Again, I'm, all of these coins will be out of Philadelphia. You can probably already see what we're looking at here. Um, if you look at that motto on the right, the In God We Trust. So this is DDO001. It's an AU58. And it is uh, a double die obverse. Now, one thing I do wish uh, Annex had done was on the double die obverse, they still put the reverse facing up on the slab. So, minor thing, but it's just, it, it makes sense to me. Why would you not put the, the variety facing up? So, um, there you can kind of see the variety a little bit. Let me try to get some of that glare off. Really nice double die. Um, there's kind of the big three in the ATB series. So there's the Pictured Rocks, the uh, American Memorial Park, and the Salt River Bay. And they're all very similar varieties. The uh, Pictured Rocks is the least impressive of the three. But you can kind of see we got a little bit of doubling, a uh, little bit of notching right there on the Y. Um, very minor, maybe a little tiny bit on the L. Very minor, but uh, mostly it's really in that motto, which is very not minor so you look at that g and the o and the bottom of the t there i mean this is really nice doubling and it's naked eye visible and that is a really nice coin and this one i found coin roll hunting so um if i did not mention that i found most of if not all of these coin roll hunting um this is the one exception to that though so this is uh, Mint State 63 DDO001 Salt River Bay. So, really nice coin. Nice uh, nice grade there. Sorry for the kind of yellowish light. Uh, I think mostly that's due to the microscope. Uh, being on the background, throwing off the color contrast here a little bit. Again, sorry for my dog. Um, but you see the doubling in the motto there. So, let's take a look at that. And like I said, this is a little bit more impressive a little bit nicer than the uh, pictured rocks was uh, but it is really really thick in that motto um, not so much in liberty a little bit you can kind of see the extra thickness on the left hand side of the y um, some of the t's slanted, slanted. Um, really nice double die i am surprised this one didn't make it in the cherry picker's guide uh, update but that is a story for another video, and trust me, that video is coming. So this one, Mint State 63, and I did have another one that I submitted in there with that, which is AU58. Um, I will not show it again because it's the same coin, but DDO001, so 163 and 158. Um, next up is D VDDO002. So this one, again, Salt River Bay, AU55 this time. Not the prettiest coin. Um, you can kind of see a few spots where I had uh, tried to clean it up a little bit with some MS70. Didn't hurt the coin. Did clean it a little bit. So on this one, the motto isn't exactly the uh, focus. It's actually in Liberty. So if you look at this one, there's the motto. So you can't really see much there. But if we move over to Liberty, that is super thick. Um, really nice doubling. You got a little notching in the T on the on the uh, top serif of the T there. 
I mean, just really nice double die. Um, I found another uh, double die that was very similar to that on the American Memorial Park and was told by Dr. Wiles it was not a double die. However, when I spoke with the gentleman who took over Wexler's, um, they said that it likely was and they had uh, one very similar for the plan for the next update. Sorry about that. All right, next up we have a Maya Angelou VDDR001. So this one only graded A55, but on the Maya Angelou's, um, again, this one got some gunk in it. Um, really not the prettiest coin in the world. You see a little bit up there in Liberty. Um, this one, would, I used a little MS70 on, uh, I think just to be able to verify the variety. But you can clearly see it is the VDDR001. Got that doubled earring, nice and kind of parallel there uh, to this bottom portion. Um, so that is the 001. Also have another 001 in 63. So you can see much nicer coin, nicer grade here. Um, same variety. Again, I'm not going to show that twice. We have the 002 in a mint state 65. So this is a really nice coin. The only obvious real detracting mark is this one uh, hit down here on, on her dress. Um, really nice coin. Really great luster. And a variety to boot. So look at that. Really nice coin. And this one is doubled on the inside of the first earring. So DDO001 is on the outside, DDO002 is on the inside here. Um, DDR003 is the only one that I have not found, but I have found um, a couple uh, DDR004s, and this is one of them, it's AU58, and nice coin still, um, much nicer than the 001 uh, does have some circulation on it and the 004 actually has this little doubling down here on the bottom um, this is kind of harder to see because this coin has a more of a polished look to it almost like a denver minted coin would um, it's very very unusual the finish you can see how shiny that is it hasn't been cleaned it's just maybe a late die stage uh, all right, again, apologies for that. I will make it through this last coin here, hopefully before my dog gets mad again. Um, this one, Dr. Sally Ride, VDDR001 in a Mint State 63. So nice coin, a um, few marks on it, not terrible. And a little bit, little bit of bagginess on, on uh, Washington's portrait there, a little bit uh, over the date. But overall, nice coin. And this one has a uh, little bit minor, but it's got the doubled collar there. Um, there is one where I believe it's uh, her hair is actually doubled right here. And I believe that one was also found by uh, Shannon Smith. Um, I have not found one of those. So maybe that only got sent out to uh, Arkansas. Because uh, I believe all the other ones are down here on this doubled collar. But that'll do it um that's the end of the submission so if you made it this long thanks for watching and if you did not uh did like the video please hit that uh, thumbs up and subscribe to see more um i did just recently send in a pcgs submission that is uh there's three three different orders uh one's a little higher grade some key dates uh one is a submission with uh variety attributions in it and then one is just a really high grade uh, Washington quarter submission. So um, if you'd like to see that, please hit the subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.